Alrighty, can we just take a moment and appreciate Dos Anjos' resume? Can we do that? Can we just appreciate the level of competition this man has had in his career? I mean, where do we even begin? Benson Henderson, Nate Diaz, who he mauled, Donald Cerrone, uh, Anthony Showtime Pettis, He's been in there with the likes of Robbie Lawler. He's been in there with Kamaru Usman. He's been in there with Kobe Covington. He's been in there with Leon Edwards. <laughs> right? Tony Ferguson. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting some other big names in there. All the really good fighters. He's fought everybody. He's fought them all. You know, his level of competition, just, it, it's its mind-blowing, man. And now he's going to be fighting Jeff Neal at you. Bro, if you don't stop. If you don't stop. Stop. Jeez Louise, bro. I can always tell when a player is just trying to mimic that shit. And he's not really about that. <laughs> All right, Nas. Picking Dustin Poirier, fuck. <laughs> Find your own style. Jeez Louise, you guys are kind of embarrassing for real. Damn. Yeah, UFC 308 is stacked, man. Stacked beyond belief. And I am I am it's hard because I really I like both fighters. I'm a fan of Jeff Neal and also a fan of RDA. And um, I would like to see RDA get it done. You know, these two guys, they, they definitely need the win. They are on losing streaks right now. Both of them. And um, one of them absolutely has to get a win. It's kind of... I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the fact that sometimes the UFC will do that. Like, literally put two fighters on the brink of, like... I'm not saying they will get cut. I definitely don't see any of these guys getting cut if they lose. But, like... Ugh. I feel like... If a fighter is on a two-fight two losing streak, putting them in there with someone else is on a two-fight losing streak is... Putting them in there against someone else that's on a two-fight losing streak kind of, like... I guess, in a way, maybe it puts both of their backs against the wall. And I guess the idea is it makes them fight so much better. Like, re it makes them really try to get that win, which would then produce a better product. I suppose that's the logic. But, like, I'm like, I don't know. Rocked. If I'm a fighter, right, the way I'm thinking about it, if I'm a fighter, do I want to fight... If, if, if I'm a fighter and on a two-fight losing streak, do I want to fight someone else that's also on a loss? Or do I want to fight someone who's who has a win streak? This dude just opened up a major cut on me. Yeah, this fight just got serious. Fights like this. There we go. This is why I went. Orthodox.
There we go. Nose is busted. <laughs> okay. No. Battle of wills like this right here where it becomes about like just head hunting. Like I'm not going to go to the body anymore right now because if he lands even one, there we go. If he lands even one uppercut to my body, this would just be bad. This It's not going to give me the bang for my buck anymore going to the body right now. It's about headshots now. All about headshots. Oh, that was, that could have been bad. Don't push me again. There we go. Yay. I was actually going to let this guy up. I really was. But when you, when you, like, usually I let people up when the camera does that. And I was going to let him up, um, even though we were having, like, a freaking war. But when you start throwing the ground and pound, you actually can't stop. I swear to God, you guys think I'm kidding when I say that. I'm not. Like, I have players that can attest to the fact that when I, when the, when I, when I enter the ground and pound and, and, and it does that with the camera... If I haven't already queued up the shots, like I will let you up. Just cause like I don't like when people like keep going and keep going and keep going when the camera does that because then you don't even have a chance. It high it's just why can't y'all get your camera shit in order? Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, it's like every fucking combat game that's out right now has camera issues. Like keep the camera still. I don't get this. It's so stupid, man. While trying to do overcomplicated camera movements, you end up like, I mean, the old, like, how is it that a game like UFC Undisputed didn't have these camera issues? And we're in 2024 and the camera is hiding the action. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. Let's move on. Yeah, let's go. Yo, RDA is angry in this game, bro. Like, <laughs> he is just mad, pissed off all the time. Sit down, boy. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, he just wants to get up. Don't even start. Since EA won't... He fucking got it. Oh, I got it. There we go. Since EA won't let me find matches, Jesus. What in the world are you even doing, bro? Sending me to jail, sending me to jail, sending me to jail. Ooh. It's ain't good. No. Are you out of your goddamn mind? He actually got that, bro. What the fuck? Don't taunt me. You have you have serious mental problems, bro. You better get up. You better get up. All right. All right. 
I'm going to guillotine you right now. No. GG's, bro. Nope. 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 GG's. Oh, boy, 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 boy. <laughs> I there I know players like that. You they they do one successful thing and they taunt you. They deny a takedown, they taunt you. They make you whiff, they taunt you. <laughs> I don't know why that tilts me. It's like, bro, like, you're not doing anything, man. You're not doing anything. What What's more annoying when a player is whooping your ass and taunting you or when you're whooping a player's ass and they're taunting you? All right? It's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's actually a good question. Like, what what is more, like, what's more annoying? <laughs> I think they're both annoying in different ways. One of them makes you feel demoralized. The other one makes you go, what the fuck? Like, uh-huh? Like, it's a different kind of annoying, right? I guess I would take the the second one. I'm whooping your ass and you're taunting. <laughs> Anyways, let's do one more. You ready to fight? Yeah. You ready? This is a fight that actually happened, and I'm trying to remember. I know I know Dos Anjos fought Rafael Fiziv. I'm trying to remember who won that fight. Did I already lose that fight? I think he did. High kick. Sit down. I know you guys are seeing me going from like one account to the other and one account to the other. This is what I got to do to try to find fights, man. This is what I got to do to try to find fights. And to try to prevent myself from going to jail. <laughs> By jail, I mean like when you back out of too many, um, when you back out of too many matches and the game tells you you have to wait 29 minutes now before you can search again. That shit is a, it's a, it's a content creator's nightmare, bro. Like when it comes to creating content with, for this game. They do not do us any favors, bro. They don't they don't give us they don't make it easy for us to make thumbnails because we don't have photo mode or replay or anything like that. Um it's it's quite and I know it it's might be too much to ask, but I feel like especially in this day and age when you know that like one of the best ways to like promote your game, one of the best ways to get eyes in your game is to have people creating content on it. I think you should be making the game at least in some parts with content creators in mind, in my opinion. Um, that's what I would do. This is what I would do if I was a, if I was a game developer, 100%. But you know, that's also coming from someone that makes content. So I know a lot of, a lot of these, a lot of times, they're not thinking about that stuff, but I, 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 I do respect game developers that think about everything, right? Like accessibility is, is also one other thing, right? Like a game, like, like a developer, like, like, like Naughty Dog, they do such a great job of, um, they do an incredible job of thinking about everything. Like your accessibility, like if you're blind, you can play Last of Us, which is crazy, right? When you go into the accessibility, like, Right now, I'm replaying Last of Us Part 2, one of my favorite games ever. And the accessibility in that game is just absolutely just incredible. The amount of time they put into making sure it's accessible to everyone is just great. And you can also tell they had their content creators in mind. Because, like, bro, you got reversed. That's just so stupid. Rafael Fiziev is not doing that shit, bro. I've been saying this, man. Um, I would like to see the next game. I'd like to see them show off the game more. And by showing off the game, I mean actually just show that you're proud of the product. You know, let's say you're done playing career mode. Now you've unlocked game art or whatever. And you show us, like, let's say we're able to view every single character model in the game. Like, imagine being able to view every character model, 
you go into like like some menu and you can view all the character models hell if we have to unlock them by earning points points you know from not money but points from like playing the game and all that stuff i'm down with that ufc undisputed 3 had something like that you had so much you could unlock in that game you could unlock different stories you could unlock certain care dude there were so many things you could unlock i i want to look at these models in depth allow me to be able to rotate them zoom in zoom out um look at the octagon look at the crowd right you created the art why not show it off maybe you can show like initial iterations for example you know the character the zombies i mean why not there we go allow us to view the get rock allow us to view these venues in depth allow us to walk through the venues you know like why not why not that's what i would do if i spent time making a video game creating these character models you better believe i'm giving you a way to go look at the models in depth but i guess it's just it's work and uh we probably don't want to do that work It's Draco. Head kick. I will get that head kick, bro. Oh, this match is like stuttering like crazy. I love the roundhouse. I've been landing in this match. Oh. Hey, there we go. I told you I was going to get you and he's out. I told you I was going to get you with that roundhouse. I was working that body over and over and over and over again. It's the classic dilemma. Work the body, work the body. The head opens up. But yeah, man, we're going to end it right here with those anjos, those nachos. If you guys enjoy this showcase, leave a like on it. Let me know in the comment section. What your thoughts are and who's going to win the fight between Dos Anjos and Jeff Neal. And I'll see you boys later. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.